Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome once more to Roar the Forex as we continue. Um, so, really, um, things are progressing. They're progressing fairly well. We just need to deal with our galacite shortage as we are experiencing that. It is our first industrial shortage of a mineral. Uh, so, uh, we need to lay down the foundations for a sturdy economy right about now. Uh, so, uh, how are we doing then? We are going to scrap the aggressor and the Araku Rekuru Arashi try and gain um, some minerals back, some materials really this is, I'm just going to make this priority one that's probably the better priority but I'm not too sure okay so how many mines do we have here? we have 106 mines remaining, so fair enough okay that's almost finished um, I wonder if I pause this, will it use the other... Right, I'm gonna pause it for now. I wanted to use the actual stockpile that we have. As you can see here, we have one of the engines here, and the uh, two turrets here, though they have not been used in this construction. So I want to make sure they are used by the actual um, construction yard. Okay, okay, okay. Um, so we were taking a look at designing the Cerberus. Now, the Cerberus would be quite an interesting vessel, but I've been thinking about it, really. I mean, we have the two quad 15s over here. What I might be better off doing is designing a smaller caliber weapon. I mean, this thing is meant to be used in the uh, solar systems, so mostly for defense, really. I mean, no, uh, with these engines, they could be used offensively if I took them with the fleet. I mean, it wouldn't be bad. They could um, actually work as fairly decent um, picket cruisers, picket uh, ships basically. Um, something to protect the fleet from missiles, and they are fairly well armoured, so they are pretty uh, pretty durable. Actually, if I took that armour off... Yes, we'd save on build time. But man. Honestly, I could really up armour these things to be ridiculously tough. Hmm. Which is quite interesting, actually. I mean, if we up armoured them... We could make them gate crashes, I suppose you could say. But they have ridiculously short range. They only have a small um, short range sensor, so no, that would be a bad idea. Uh, yes, what I was thinking about was maybe changing the engine to one that's like a normal power. So basically, it's 100%, um, 100%, so it uses the base amount of fuel for the base amount of power, if you get what I mean. But, uh, uh, maybe not. I think I like this design. I may remove some of the fuel, actually, and, um, I don't know. It depends. It really depends. I mean, the issue is the build time is going to take a while anyway. Um, so what I was thinking of doing is, uh, what I read from one of the comments, was to add a secondary bridge. Now, basically, that would be there in uh, case of, uh, well, the bridge being taken out. We'd have a backup. Okay, I want to lose 50 tons here. Right, then we'll add another bridge. I uh, need to lose uh, this one here. I mean, we're down to 50,000 litres of fuel, so this is ridiculously efficient. And we can get 94 days out of that. Compared to like the million or five million for the uh, military ships, they burn through fuel like crazy. So honestly, I'm, I'm okay with this. I'm okay with this. We do need to lose a bit of fuel though, however. Uh, well, we do have a long maintenance life. That's more than we need, so we can get rid of that. Yes, right, we're okay now. Uh, so I'll probably just add a little bit of fuel to bring that back up. Can I go for a small? Um, a small would do is nicely. Can I get another one in there? I just want to keep it about uh, 7,500 tons, so that's fine. Oh, do I really need to add any more fuel? Ah... Hmm. <coughs> I'm not too sure, actually. I suppose so. And then at least we have um, a longer range capability. Uh, which would be helpful to keep them uh, going. But yeah, we can fit quite a lot here. Right, there we go. Uh, so far, so 496 total tonnage. Um, okay, we might come back to this in the future, but I mean the lasers would give us about 300,000 kilometer range. And now we could position these around Sol. 
and around jump systems, well, jump gates, whatever you want to call them, to be fairly effective. Actually, I could give them ECCM or ECM. Uh, though, uh, hmm, it won't really matter too much if I park them on top of an actual uh, jump gate, you know what I mean? Hmm. We'll come back to this concept, really. I think we can develop it further, but as usual, it takes quite a while for us to develop our ship concepts, just to be the best that they can be for what we want. So who knows, we might need a concept such as the Cerberus, though we might refine it into something else. And I would be quite interested in particle beam technology to make up that weaponry. So we'd have decent range and nice DPS. Um, so the idea would be, we would, um, I think they're longer range than lasers. I believe they are longer ranged. I'm not too sure on that one. Uh, but the idea would be that we could have a few of these things and uh, they would be 100% uh, accurate. And the damage they do would be constant. Well, it'd be, um, well, it'd be constant, really. There's no fall-off damage, I believe, with uh, lancers and particle lancers. So that would be very nice to have. It'd make them quite reliable for damage. We know how much they could do, which would be quite nice. We will be taking a look at a design in a uh, subspecies in the future, though we just need to find a new system to actually base them in, and I do need to find systems to feed my mineral industry, to be honest. So that will come in time. I apologise for those of you who are very interested in seeing that it's just the fact of uh, it does take a long time to get through things, especially with how long it takes the game to, um, well, <laughs> compute now. Um, Jura completed orders. What were your orders now, Jura? Right, fleets. Jura. You have no orders now. Okay, that's good to know. Um, right. Actually, what I'm going to do then is... I'm going to take the Jura. We're going to grab... Auto mining stations from um, Eris. Okay. Load. Load automated mines. And then drop them back off on Earth. Now the idea is I'm going to take the mines from Eris. And we're going to take them over to uh, Struve 2398 and to that moon. Uh, so we can get that uh, mineral production going there. And just because Eris is doing my head in because of that long ass uh, constant line. Okay, and um, unload. Unload automated mines. Okay, we can recycle that. Um, so that sounds good. Righto. Righto. Sectors. We do need to build another sector command, actually, in the Phoenician system. How much would that um, cost us in terms of material? Uh, let's take a look. Industry wise, only 896 construction capability here. And not much at all, so we're going to cancel this project and I'm going to build construction labs. Uh, can I, well, construction factories. Can I actually afford to do that? Right, geranium, titanium, and vendorite. We have all three of them. And uh, we produce geranium, vendorite, though we do not produce titanium. Though that's not too bad. So we'll start building these uh, construction factories. I'll just put in about a hundred, well, I mean I could put in a thousand, but at least we can pause it and change um, the priorities over in the future. So I'll just get that project in there, get that started. And Colica, we do need more construction capacity over here. Uh, what is the transit group doing? Transit. Where for that though? Right, load on minerals, okay. No, I'd rather you didn't <laughs> take those minerals. Did we load the minerals from Earth or these from... From, um, Lupticle? <laughs> oh, shit, son. Okay, we can uh, put these minerals back then. Okay, remove that task. No. Ah, uh, right, I see. Right, unload. On Earth. Okay. How are we doing that on Lubical Prime? That's where I took the minerals from, isn't it? 
Yes, okay, right. So that's good then. We might have stolen some minerals from Earth, but uh, I can put them back next turn, we'll be good. Okay, then I'll tell them to uh, refuel. Not the Jura, but I'll go from here anyway. Right, transit. I want you to refuel. Good, refuel. Then we're gonna have the transit basically take construction factories. We'll take some construction factories too, and Colic can get that construction process started and keep that going. Okay, we're gonna progress now. <laughs> I do need to put into production some of those uh, mineral barges. Though I might take a look at the amount of fuel they need. Um, I'll just take a quick look over the design again and just see what we can improve on it. If we can cut um, some weight somewhere, that's going to make it cheaper to produce and faster to produce, which is fantastic. And for all intents and purposes, it's basically a um, floating, flying... Uh, well, skip, bin, barge, whatever you want to call it. Okay. I mean, I am buying uh, from the civilian economy. I am buying their minerals. I just don't get enough from them. And it does cost me, but I can easily afford the cost with no problems at all. Hmm. Anyhow, new jump point, finally! Ah, long bloody last. Right, so we have an unexplored jump point over here. Uh, so we are going to send the uh, GSF Berlin. Okay, um, you should be fine, you are fairly old uh, craft. Or do I want to send one of the, I'm going to send one of the Ardens. They are faster, and I do believe they are slightly more armoured, or perhaps better armoured. Uh, we'll send one of you then. So we're going to have you go to Stu2398. Uh, there you go, my lad. And uh, to that unexplored, uh, unexplored, unexplored jump point. <laughs> that was really difficult to say for some reason. Okay. And once they get in there, we'll give them orders. We just need to see what the actual... Um, I suppose you could say LZ's like, you know, the London zone. Et well, entry zone. The so it moves at 5,000 kilometers per second. It's got about five armor. It's a large ship, really, isn't it? Yeah. I need to really redesign my exploration ships. That's incredibly apparent. The Zambias are over-engineered by far, and... Um, they suffer from that. They're not as good as they could have been. Right, so it was only three days, so yeah, it's going to take some while. Uh, take a while. Okay. Did the transit? The hell is the transit? Roger and Sol. Okay. There's a Jura. Right, there is the transit. How are we doing over here with this? Solsec fuel. So this is a basilisk. Uh, we have about 9.28 1 million litres of fuel. So not bad then. Research. Fuel production. We're estimating uh, 10th of February 2100. Not bad. Uh, this could be faster though. Hopefully that scientist will level up with this uh, project. Okay. Ideally, I would like to increase my fuel production rate. Uh, we can build up these stockpiles faster. That's going to be fantastic for everybody, really. Hmm. Righto. I did say we'll take a look at the um, <laughs> mineral badge. Oh well, we'll get through it in the end. We'll get there one day. The amazing thing is with Aurora, it's like I only feel like I've just started but half of the episode's already gone because we have to talk about things that we were talking about last time. It's a constant cycle, it's a very vicious cycle. I suppose you could describe Aurora in a nutshell as um, almost viscous. You're going to get uh, really... Uh, well, uh, like quicksand, you're going to get stuck in it. The more you struggle, the deeper 
you fall in, you slip in, you sink. <laughs> I am definitely going to uh, redesign those, uh, what do I call them, the Austrias? Uh, basically the uh, freighters, I do bloody need to redesign them to be faster to be honest. Right, finally, we've completed some more Grand Battalions. And we finally completed reset, well, construction of the Ultraviolet Laser Array, the Quad Barreled Ones. Right, oh. Right, so we're gonna have Earth work on those construction factories and get on with that one, though. That's good for me. Have that unpaused. We can expect that done by 2107, and that would be a thousand construction factories. Well, 995. No small task. Okay. I'm glad that we finished these uh, garrison battalions, though. Um, I'm going to train more, however. Mostly for the fact that I can put them on Ancolica, that I can move the rest of the military to other places in the galaxy, such as uh, Proxima Centauri. We will bloody go back again, again, again. And finish the job. Ideally, I would like to have some actual new generation warships of that. However, we'll make do. Right, so I'm gonna put you in there. And, uh. Okay. Uh. Pause task, unpause, there we go. Hmm. We do have our new missiles, actually. So let's take a look at the missiles. I've been meaning to design a new missile, so I might as well do it now. So go to missile design. Then again, I did design some new missiles, didn't I? But I don't believe that was with the engines. Or was it? Right, so tell me how to actually bring up a previous design. Though I can't quite find the comment again due to the fact that YouTube is a pie, well, a piece of dog shit. It's really, really bloody bad. Okay, can I bring them up like this? Set series. Um. Or at least I'll know. Hmm. Oh, okay, well that's uh, pretty bad actually. Christ. <laughs> oh dear. We'll come back to that one. Oh my lord, I do wish this would go faster. Right, Transit has completed orders, you've dropped off those minerals, good job. How are we doing with Earth's stockpile now? Uh, so we have about 7,465 tons of Galicite, and uh, we've talked up our other... We do have a shitload of coal refined, actually, that's quite a huge amount. But yes, we've talked up our amounts of minerals, so that's okay for now. Even some extra sorium, so that's great news. Rightio. Uh, so what we're going to do then is we're going to use uh, the transit group to take construction uh, facilities to Ancolica. Oh, actually, no, actually. We're going to take them to uh, New Carthage. It's closer and it's going to be easier for me to build up that system if I can get that going. So that's what we're going to do. Right, load construction factories. And sure populations. We are going to go to New Carthage. We're going to unload those construction factories. There we go. And uh, repeat, like so. Now, whether they'll be able to figure that one out, so what I'll do is I'll have them uh, translate out the system. So it's a loop call. Then to solve. Right, there we go. That should be fine now. Very good news. Right, we'll take a look at that mineral barge before I forget. Actually, no, there's no point. I've already uh, keyed that design in. Uh, where does the tow go? It's 23299. Right, the Ardents have arrived in system. Right, the tow goes over here. Fucking hell. It's going to be a <laughs> bloody hell. So looking at about four months before the uh, Arcana Imperi reaches troop 2398. Which is not bad, I guess. It's not bad. 
At least then we can start terraforming the world, and it should be a fairly easy process to bring that world to Earth-like standards. So that's fine for me. Bum, 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 bum. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now we could do with having some garrison troops on each of the planets and also a PTC. Uh, we have PTCs on uh, New Carthage and Rubicon Prime. Um, I don't... Well, I believe uh, system protection is system-wide. Uh, so say a uh, planet has a PTC, I believe it counts that protection to the other planets. Though I'm not entirely sure. I'd um, like to assume it's like that. Hmm... Oh, well, we'll make do. Oh, hello! Right. Why is 1506 plus 7027? And we have planets. Oh, this is very bloody hell. <laughs> oh my god. The plot thickens. Right. What kind of system is this? Uh, there's no secondary star system to find. So, Pejovian, uh, large moons. Do we have any uh, terrestrial worlds? We have a terrestrial moon. So, this is basically a super gas giant surrounded by moons. Lots and lots of moons with asteroids. Now, this is going to be confusing as all hell to bloody uh, colonize if there's anything useful. But we're going to get on with this. I'm happy that we found something, and we are most certainly going to make use of this discovery. So, exploration ahoy. A survey. Nearest body. And to you, my good friend. Okay, let's get on with this. I really am interested to see what we can find here. Right. They launched a new ship, a colony ship. Okie dokie. Um, so where is this on the galactic map? So why is this over here? I... Can't remember how to move them. <laughs> oh dear. Ah... Uh... Hmm. I'll come back to that one. I have to remember how to actually move them, so I completely forgot now. But anyway, we'll carry on. But this is good. This is very good. I mean, with a Super Jovian, it may hopefully have uh, a good amount of thorium, if uh, possible. So we could use it as a refueling station. Which would be absolutely great. Um, use it to refuel our ships and then we can use it to um, be a springboard for exploration. I'm very much looking forward to that. Hmm. Hopefully it's not a hostile system. Though I doubt it. They don't tend to spawn on moons. Though I could be wrong. It would make for a very bloody interesting start, though. I mean, starting a system where there's, uh, where you're on a moon among many tens of moons, maybe in the hundreds of moons, orbiting a super gas giant. It's a bit almost like island hopping, really. There would be a huge amount of materials, but it could be very, very ranging in how many things could be there. You get a lot of moons where there's hardly anything. You get some moons where they're, like, incredibly valuable. It would be a very interesting game. I think I might actually go for something like that. I think it'd be, um... I think that'd be right, but cool. Right, so the Argos has completed the task, so we now have a jump gate between Struve 2398 and Sol. Good news to hear there. Right, so I'll send you back to Earth. Your job has been completed, so that's good for you. Uh, 
Made some clocks at zero, so that's fine. We'll just have you refuel. Ah, you can... Well, and your crew can have some R&R. &R. Okay, okay, okay. Right, finally, divisional headquarters have finally been created. It only took forever. Right, so we have mobile infantry and those guys. Oh, so what should we go for? We'll go for some... I like mobile infantry because they have good defense, but we do need to have assault infantry for that attack, so we'll go for that. Okay. How are we getting on with that uh, scrapping on Earth? 58.6%. I would have thought it would have been a lot faster, but um, I would be wrong. I'm confused as to why we're not using these. Is it because the construction's already started, therefore we can't make use of them? Hmm. It makes me wonder if I cancelled this, and then we restarted the project, would we be able to use those um, turrets? Possibly. I mean, this one's at zero zero. Hmm. Right, we're not using much galicide now. That's mostly because we've, well, got the engines. I mean, we'd have one of the uh, free engines on here. That's quite a large part of the ship, so that'd make up a lot of bad construction. And with the weapons there, that'd be good too. Okay. And what I could do with doing actually is um, sending the ooze, or no, the Odysseus around to carry those garrisons to Ancolica. We can start replacing the uh, conventional troops with the garrison troops and getting those to where they're needed. And that would be, well, that would be Proxima Centauri in the future. Ideally, anyway. I need to get back into that system, and I need to find out what's going on. <sighs> but I'd rather return once I have my gener uh, new generation vessel. I suppose the battle plan will be... Possibly design a new class of missile, um, which would be quite nice. A faster one, if possible. Maybe longer range, who knows. Longer range would be good, though. Uh, but with the Mercury class... We'd be able to chase down any enemy vessel, no matter what, so that would be fantastic. I could keep them with a the fleet, so they're fairly well protected. They do have only, like, three quad turrets, which is not bad. They only have, like, one less than the other, well, yonders. And they are much, much faster. And actually better armed, well, armoured. Hmm. But wait if I could destroy them. Right. I think that means that we've got new officers. No? Right, okay, there we go. So they've finally been scrapped, okay. <laughs> okay. Why am I getting an error 94? Ah, right, so Berlin has finished, okay. I'll have Berlin go back to Earth, then. Um. Wow, you had a lot of problems here. Yes, yeah, so we'll send you back to Earth for uh, repair, then. Refuel and repair. Plus some R&R. &R. You've deserved it. Okay. Yes, yeah, so those ships have been scrapped, that's fine. Orders are not possible over here. I sincerely doubt that. Something here, isn't it? Yes, how are your orders not possible? You're just conducting geological surveys. What else do you need? Have we found anything so far? Nothing so far. Fair enough. Okay. Okay. So the gravitate right, okay, that's the issue here. Uh, so the gravitational survey has been completed in uh, Stru 2398, we found three jump points. That's fine. Right, we need to cancel these orders, actually. I forgot about that one. Uh, cancel, right, no special order, there we go. And... I think these are the only ships in the system right about now. That would appear to be the case. Okay, Koki, okay. uh, how are we doing in the Phoenician system for population? Syracuse. Ah, there we go. 
Right, so Syracuse has 1.14 million people, Nova uh, Cafago has 5.5, New Carthage 65, Lubrico Primevo 144 million. Fantastic. But the last guys, we're at the end of the episode, so thank you so bloody much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this, and do subscribe for more. Goodbye for now. See you next time.